few of us can say he's helped us a lot. Amen. Amen. Every one of us. Yes, Lord. Because even when we were children, God dealt with us. God brought us and he elevated us and brought us through the different things to make us to what we are today. Um, so we just praise God for that. You all bow your head for a minute. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus, in your holy name, we thank you for all your graciousness, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your love and kindness, Lord, that you have bestowed upon us. Because if it wasn't for your mercy, we would not be here today. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for your love, Lord Jesus, and the prayers that you have answered over the years. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for the holiness, Lord Jesus, that you bestowed in us. Lord Jesus, in the mind frame, Lord Jesus, knowing that if we didn't have a righteous mind, Lord Jesus, you couldn't speak and you wouldn't be able to do the things that you have done for us. Through the prayers of others, Lord Jesus, we brought it. And we thank you. We thank you for our past, Lord Jesus. We thank you for our present. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you are going to do for us in the future. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We don't know our destiny, but Lord Jesus, we know that we are headed toward heaven. And we thank you for that. Give us strength and honor, and we'll praise your name forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I, I was studying over the, the uh, Samuel, and I thought, I said, you know, it's a, and uh, it's so much. Sometimes we can look at the, read one scripture, uh, read a chapter, and you know that so many thoughts and so many ideas can come out of that one chapter. You can read one verse, and you can say, well, you know, well, uh, this, you have this thought, and, and you go in this avenue, and then the Lord will bring something else to your mind. And you think about something that has happened to you or somebody else, and you can relate that to the scriptures. God is so wonderful in doing that, mm -hmm. and and it's all in God's plan. Oh yeah. You know, and I read the chapter, the first chapter of Samuel, First Samuel day, and it's so interesting. It got so much in that chapter. Yeah. That, that you would uh, say, God, I didn't know that all of this was in there. But it's so much in that one chapter about Elohim. You know, uh, uh, that's, that's Hannah's uh, husband. And I, I wondered, I said, Lord, you know, I said, those women went through a lot. And I always say, thank the Lord for facing me in this day and time. Because I, I don't know what I could deal with two, uh, my husband having two wives. Oh, yes. Or three or more. You know, I don't think I could deal with that. But God knew what he was doing when he was doing it. And uh, uh, that, that was their custom back then. And if y'all, you know, if you have your Bible, you can go with me to Samuel, the uh, first chapter, and the uh, first chap uh, first verse. I know that we are going to talk about, just talking about that, the one verse as far as Samuel, uh, you know, with with Hannah. And Hannah had to have been a prayer woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know how it is when you have opposition. Mm -hmm. And when you have opposition, that means that you pray more. Oh, yes. <coughs> and even when people don't even know that you was praying. So I pictured in my mind Hannah. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, she had to pray a lot. <laughs> she had to pray a lot. Because the other wife wasn't too nice. Mm -hmm. You know, she was nice in front of her husband. Mm -hmm. But she had her ways around her husband. And 
then sometimes the husbands don't notice every little thing. Oh, yes. But Hannah knew, Hannah noticed, yes. but Hannah kept her composure because she was a good person. She, she believed in God. Oh, yes. And she trusted God. She knew that God would hear her. And, and for a while she said, well, Lord, you're not hearing me. I don't know how many years it was between that time, this, between those children. But Tania, okay, she was having children. I mean, you know, and, and that's a bragging time. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a bragging time. And, and your heart gets so despondent. And I know that some of us have been there. Yes. We say, well, Lord, are you hearing me? I'm, I'm praying, I'm, I'm living holy, I'm walking up right before you, and these things are coming before me, and, and what am I to do with them? How am I going to deal with these situations? And, and your faith say, well, Lord, what am I doing that, that you're not hearing me? But you're not doing anything, it's just not God's time yet. Right. It's oh, yes. not God's time yet. Yes. But they they just tricky now and he'll bring those things in your mind to think, What am I doing? But uh, you if you know that you love the Lord and that you're trusting in his will to do what God will have you to do, then you just continue to pray. Mm-hmm. Just continue to pray. And have you been in a situation where you was in, in this situation, in this frame of mind, and you know how the Holy Ghost moves, and all of a sudden it's your change, and you're in this frame, and you're caught up in the spirit so high that, that you lose this control, you lose it yourself. And that's when the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, come within and take over. And this was him. This was him. And and even though sometimes they say, Lord, they don't understand, they don't know. And they say, now they just acting so funny. They done this here. But you can be in prayer and meditation. You can be in prayer and meditation and knowing that God is hearing you. And, and I thought about that. I said, Lord, how, uh, what are some of the things can I say that, that get the people's mind frame in, in, in as far as knowing that God, that God is working in their lives? Here we have people that, that have been saved, that have repented. We have people that sanctify themselves and they say, well, um, when is the Holy Ghost? How come I can't get the Holy Ghost? And uh, believe it or not, a lot of them don't even understand what the Holy Ghost is. Mm -hmm. and, and believe it or not, it was then, it was back there. Uh, we don't mention it a lot, but the Holy Ghost was back then because God was there. And then Jesus was back then, but they talked to God, but he was three in one. And so Hannah just kept praying. She, she had prayed for quite a many years. She had taken their abuse. And how many have taken abuse? Oh, yes. Yeah. How many have taken abuse? But you still kept praying. You did not lose your faith in God. And knowing that God is going to do it. Yes. Lord, and we pray all the time, but Lord, your will be done. But what is God's will? Mm -hmm. And if you read the chapters before then and the chapters after then, you will see what God's will was. God's will was miraculous. And say, oh, Lord, now, Lord, I see the whole picture. You know, and uh, uh, it's not just Hannah, <laughs> but thank God that God used Hannah in the way that he used Hannah. Even though it came about in, in a, 
uh, another way that, you know, she was, she wanted to have a child for her husband. She felt like this is how she was to please her husband. And back then, and even now, we have women that think that, uh, well, he's not going to think I don't love him if I don't have a child by him. So it's still going on in this day and time. But we have to get our mind framed in the notion that God's will will be done. And if God blessed us with children, it's for a reason. The children just don't exist. They're not here just to exist. They're here for a purpose, and that's to serve God. That they to be taught and brought up to know that God, they, they are here to worship and serve God, just like we are. But Hannah had not reached to that, that point yet until she went back that year to the temple. Uh, uh, so I'm going to read a little bit to you all as far as the, um, to the 11th verse. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to go in the first part of it because, you know, I know, you know, she was the wife of Elaniah and uh, Elkanah. And uh, she was the, um, I don't know whether she was the first wife. Yes, yeah, two wives. So Hannah was the first wife. And uh, Peniah was the second wife. Because if Peniah was the first wife, she would have had her name first. So you know that here he come with another wife to, you know, to bless them with some children. But he still loved Hannah. And he still referenced Hannah. But some of his ways made Hannah feel bound. Even though she was praying. And so not let us get in our mind that uh, that the wife or the woman is not doing what she's supposed to do when she's down. Because sometimes you're going to get down. That's right. Sometimes you're going to get oh, yeah. if you pray. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you're going to get uh, where you need a lift up. Mm -hmm. You need somebody to encourage you. Yes. And even though you're praying for them all the time, but sometimes you need a little lift up. Mm -hmm. And she had got that little lift up. Uh -huh. Even with him giving her, he just gave her something to put in the office. Mm -hmm. No, no, uh, I love you, baby, or honey, uh, and here you something. But he gave the other wife a nice amount. Gave her children a good amount. And here Hannah is. She's just behind. I'm the first wife, but you know, I'm just, just like I'm way back there. And just think now, you know, say every so often we want to hug from our husband. We want to, I love you. Don't just put in your mind that, well, they know I love them. No, sometimes we want to hear. We want to mm -hmm. see it. We're women. <laughs> and we like affection. Right. And Hannah likes affection. Right. But she was not getting the affection that she's supposed to do, have. So in her mind, she just said, Lord, enough is enough. I'm praying. All right. And I'm believing in you. And I've seen the miracles that you've done. All right. I know what you the way you brought my people from. All right. And we know where we done come from. All right. Oh, yeah. And we know what God is. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And we are praying. And we are fasting. But we are constantly doing the other things that we got to do, too. And that's a lot of work, ladies. That's a lot of work. And, and women are constantly moving. They're That's constantly right. doing something. Oh, yeah. And some people say, why are you stopping them? We know what we got to do mm -hmm. and how to deal and how to face. So we have got to uh, uh, do what we have got to do. What we've got